Brianna Liston is back with a bang. And congratulations to Jamaica's Lamari Distin, Akira Nugent Shocks. And have you forgotten how fast Kemba Nelson really is? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, are you ready? Yep! Good to go. Well, Jamaica's Akira Nugent, the reigning NCAA Women's 60-meter hurdles champion and holder of the NCAA 60-meter women's record. Yes, that Jamaican superstar, Akira Nugent, shocked many when she set a meet record, not in a 100-meter hurdle event, but in the flat women's 100 meters. This she did at the John McDowell Invitational 2023 recently. The Arkansas University Phenom made a huge impression on those gathered, setting a new meet record of 11.13. A season's best, by the way, for her over the women's 100 meters. And not far off her personal best over the women's 100 meters, which is a time of 11.09. Nugent won ahead of Jada Baylark, who ran 11.24 to take that second spot. And Arian Linton, who ran 11.31 to take the third spot, they all ran with a plus 0.6 wind behind them. Um, I don't know about you, but that one sort of surprised me. But in a good way, obviously, she's working on her flat speed. The faster she is, she is in between those hurdles, the faster she will be over the hurdles. Um, her Arkansas coaching staff, they know exactly what they're doing with her. Yep, I'm expecting some great things from this young lady. Now, moving on. Tony and Beckford of Edwin Allen and Aaliyah Baker of Heidel High renewed their central champs runs in the women's 400 meter hurdles class one at the recently held velocity fest this was to me one of the most exciting races and again um my listeners requested 400 meter hurdles and your wish is my command <laughs> your wish is, your wish is my command but this was really an exciting race what is odd though people is that i cannot find the official results for this race anywhere on the velocity fest site so if anyone from the velocity set site is aware of this you have no results for this race it's like the race didn't take place anyway people full joy by the way, Edwin Allen's Tony and Beckford won this in a new personal best of 57.33. And Aaliyah Baker also ran a new personal best of 57.60. Yeah. Away they go then for the final of the 120 girls 400 meters hurdles. A good start for Tony and Beckford already in lane 4 from Edwin Allen. On the outside in lane 7, that's Alien Mullings of Heidel. So Beckford and Mullings, those two champion best of all, but look at now Annalise Brady in 3. It's Brady, up home with technical, closing the stagger on Beckford. But Beckford leads slightly. Baker in lane 6 of Heidel comes to the party as well. 200 meters or less to go, it's Beckford and Brady. These two battling here. So as they turn for home, it's Beckford with the advantage. They turn into the home stretch. This was the battle some week last week at Central Championships. It's Beckford of Evan Allen. Baker on the outside of Heidel, she too has gone by Brady. It's Beckford of Edwin Allen, hanging on from Baker of Heidel. It's Tony and Beckford of Edwin Allen from Ali and Baker of Heidel. That's the top two. Brady has to set up a third. 57-3-0 for Tony and Beckford of Edwin Allen. What a run from the youngster. With a massive personal best as well. 57-3-3, a massive personal best for Baker as well, 57-6-0. The top two, and Brady 59-3-3 in third. 
Huge congratulations goes out to Jamaica's Lamara Distin last year. Well, the 2022 Commonwealth High Jump Champion. She has been named Athlete of the Year. She posted the Athlete of the Year. So honored and grateful to receive this award. Reflecting on all the hard work and sacrifice that led to this moment, all glory to God. Excited for the future and all the things yet to come. I mean, she has really been working hard, people. This young lady is a remarkable talent. We keep talking about her. We keep featuring her. The high jump was your event, and you were pretty good at it. Um, I need a 14. <laughs> 14. <laughs> Volleyball head coach. The Legacy Awards, big up to Lamara Distin. Now, I absolutely hear no one talking about this young lady. Kemba Nelson it's sort of odd to me because I think everyone has forgotten that Kemba Nelson is the fastest junior female athlete that Jamaica has quite literally Kemba just turned 23 so when I mean junior I'm talking about somebody under 24 25 um you remember that last year at the national trials she ran a scintillating second place behind the remarkable Sharika Jackson beating Elaine Thompson-Hera and running a new personal best of 10.88 and we seem to have just forgotten about this you know in a weird way now I know that we have such a depth of talent here and there are so many youngsters coming up Tina Clayton Brianna Williams um whoa how could I forget Alana Reed uh there's so many tremendous sprinters but please understand that none of these young ladies have yet broken sub 10.90 this young lady has already ran sub 10.90 now the last time we saw her well i remember seeing her was at the gibson relays in the finals of the women's 60 meter a it's a lot about the start set set position sent away cleanly good start for kemba nelson also running well tia clayton look at ramona birchell on the outside clayton and birchell clayton and birchell birchell sneaks through now i believe that was her first race for the 2023 season i don't remember seeing her in anything else since the start of the season clearly she's concentrated let me remember last year she's now a pro this is her first year as a pro athlete so she doesn't have to do all those tons of races that she did in the collegiate scene um so i think that her team they're managing her properly they understand what they're doing with her but i just noticed no one is talking about kemba and i find that like really odd i'm like this is kemba nelson <laughs> people this is 10.88 we're talking about this is this is 10.88 okay we cannot ignore kemba nelson um that first race she ran uh i think it was 7.22 uh came fifth first race just getting her legs onto her onto her let's see what she's going to do for the rest of the season i think if she does what i think she's going to do we're in for a treat now yes brianna liston is finally back finally people because i've been wondering where the heck is brianna liston, brianna liston i'm not even seeing her on her feed well finally not in a race but at least we saw her post something uh something was posted about her now i'm not really sure where she was going she looked remarkable beautiful young lady super talented and we're just happy to see her back uh some people have been speculating that she may be injured i have no idea i have no such information um maybe they're just saving her but i do i did a whole video on this i do find it very strange that we just haven't seen her in any races really outdoors the last one we, was this in the anchoring the four by um four by uh, 100 meters so don't know what's going on i hope she's fine I'm just happy to see her, just to see her, a picture of her, a video of her, anything of her. Um, huge talent, expect a lot from her. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Oh, by the way, big up Lamar Distin. That's a huge deal, people. Huge, huge deal, bigger up. And were you surprised by um, Akira Nugent, <laughs> um, 100 meter meet record, flat 100 meter. Um, yeah, and people, why are we not talking about Kemba? 10.88 seriously speaking and it's great to see this young lady one of my favorites want to know this yep um brianna listen hope she is not injured now don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell hit the like button remember you're royals you're kings and queens bless up